with the point guards. We have discussed this matchup extensively so far, and we will all night long. Iverson, number one, Marbury, number four, and it's going to be fun to watch these two young guys hook up. And uh, that's kind of a key. And then get your forwards involved early. When Guglietta and Garnett are involved early, then it seems to carry through. Yeah, you see Iverson and Marbury hooking up. And it, it's interesting to discuss it where both coaches are saying, look, I want Iverson to do this if I'm Johnny Davis. If I'm Flip Saunders, I want <laughs> Marbury to do this. But when the game starts, will all of that apply when all of a sudden they're hooking up one-on-one -on -one? for a second and final time Friday at the brand-new Core State Spectrum. Just how you want it. First matchup of the night. Iverson, Marbury drive, and the conversion on the weak side by the veteran. It's in fact their 28th in the league defensively. So Johnny Davis happy with the point so far. Eight already, but here's the problem. Inside scoring against them all season. New Jersey and Philadelphia to realize when he is on, he is a very difficult matchup. Here's Garnett inside again. The problem here is uh, Weatherspoon not only is giving him position, Marbury, stutter step, baseline, and a good pass. And I think Saunders, McHale, and company probably <laughs> pleased here because that's the second time tonight, a little room and then passing the ball as opposed to the shot. The one from Georgetown, step number four from Tech, and there is a good wraparound knock out of bounds by Iverson. Timberwolves in the early stages, Chad, are getting good shots. You know, they're moving the ball, taking some penetration. You see on this one, Stefan, just a, a stutter step, goes right by Iverson, but gets in some inside help on defense. AG inside, offensive opportunities, good deflected pass, Garrett, no good, but look at Garnett inside, rebounding. They call it a high percentage shot. Can you dish the rock like this? And here's Garnett working inside. Oh, and he got the reverse. And don't bring it if you don't need it. Nice play by the point guard. Iverson, how does he respond to the good pass from Marbury? Takes the jumper and knocks it out from 16. Just aren't communicating on defense. They end up with two guys on the ball, leaving the jump shooters standing alone. You gotta talk to each other. Plenty of time on the shot clock, but they turn it over. The speed of Iverson, the challenge Doug West, and one more coming. How about the play by Allen Iverson? You knew from midcourt that he was going to go all the way. He wasn't looking for any trailers. He was going to take this in and score it. You see, he's got his head up, drive to the basket, takes it up one hand. It's amazing that taking it up one hand, he was still able to accept the contact and score. Foul number two on Doug West. Chris Carr comes in. Now over to Tom Hanneman. Well, Chad, as you and Jim have been talking about, after experiencing that power outage part of the last two games, Tom Gugliotta certainly re-energized here. Tom Gugliotta, he came from a long way to get to the rim to tip it in. And they're going to call an offensive foul. The left hand clearing out for Allen Iverson. Iverson. Goes right by Doug Overton, gets the layup in his first field goal of the quarter. 38 points. Nice run for Minnesota. Iverson slows that run down with the open jumpers. Situation, deflected rebound to Cade. Here he comes, wheeling and dealing. What a crossover by Iverson. First time tonight we've seen the Allen Iverson crossover, which already is legendary in the NBA. It's a quick move. You can see he starts across to his left, just stops, dribbles in place, and then crosses it over and leaves Hollywood standing. Quick move back to his right. Boom. Ow. I would assume when you watch tape and you're the player who falls for that move, your teammates might let you know about it <laughs> in a... In a sort of friendly way, and I bet Hollywood will listen. He's not the only one. Here at the Target Center, game five of a six-game homestand, and Iverson set to the deck, 45-44. That's a better way to thread yourself through the Minnesota defense. Right, that will guard a variety of players trying to slow down Stackhouse, and nobody can stop that drive and slam by Jerry Stackhouse, who's loving it, heading the other way. Yeah, when they want to go one-on-one, -on -one, it's fun to watch. Iverson right now. A little better stamina. Here's Stackhouse trying to get by KG, and we saw that move again. Jerry Stackhouse 
wheeling and dealing by Minnesota, slams it home. Michael Cage came in, Scott Williams sat down. No foul problems, just wanted to make a change. Iverson rimming out, Iverson heading to the line. Interesting things watching it was the expression on oh, Derek Coleman when, when, when it's going, going well and it doesn't and already hit by five Good pass by Marbury and a better finish by KG the 20 year old hook up on a brilliant play Second consecutive steal for Marbury this time he goes all the way and scores it Jack luck right now 12 Iverson wanting with a one-on-one -on -one. Iverson three count it Allen Iverson dials one up from long distance. Mission lead for Philly. Remember what those threes could do to games. Marbury stutter step. Baseline drive. Reverse. Yes! Nice quick baseline reverse layup. Minnesota's way. Here they come. Marbury. Iverson. No. Who? Yes. What a run by Minnesota. Now it's a two-point game. The building on fire here in downtown Minneapolis. And they're checking here on who the foul is on. Iverson is looking at a conversation between Woody Mayfield and Ronnie Nunn. And uh, Ronnie's not backing away. Allen Iverson doesn't know who to appeal to. I don't think the fans are going to take his side. <laughs> he was trying to find Johnny Davis and ran right by him. He gets into the lane and there's no place to go if the ball just puts it straight up in the air and makes it go, draws the ball. What a change of direction by Stefan Marbury. What a highlight play and what a comeback this has been. Steph now with 21 points. Chance to tie it at 100. Free throw. Yes! Comeback is complete. Minnesota down by 12. Late in this quarter. They're going to win it. 104, 100, Saunders and Marbury elated about this victory. Oh, work the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Mikhail with a hug. And obviously, he's a great player. We came out, we played hard. We came out sluggish at the beginning. But we showed a lot of heart tonight. And we showed that we have more tonight. It's just going to be a rivalry like Magic and Bird. It's going to go on for about 15 more years. So, I mean, it's going to be, we're going to win something, we're going to lose something. You know, he's going to score more, I'm going to score more. He's going to have more assists, I'm going to have more assists. He's going to get a steal like I got a steal. Um, it's all going to come down to a lot of situations, but it's going to be, it's always going to be a classic, and it's starting right now. I'm going to see Stefan a lot more in my career. So, um, I mean, it was a great experience, but I mean, it was fun, me and him, my close friends. So, um, it was fun. It's something we'll talk about, you know, uh, for a while. But, you know, they got to get ready to come back to Philly in a couple of days. So, you know, right back at it.